my sweet boy. Hi. Hi. Okay, back inside, I guess. Go out. I know why he wanted to go back in. Staples is up. No. How you feeling, Staples? It's not Staples. <laughs> Alright, Metalhead. No. How's it feeling today? Good. Doesn't hurt. Good. Yet. <laughs> Stop licking in between my toes, you silly dog. <laughs> Katie's his favorite person in the whole world. Yes. He loves his Katie Kate. I'm just making dinner, but it's been cold. It's not been cold. That's a dumb thing to say. It's never cold in Florida, but it has been rainy and gross. And I just, I wanted something warm. So we're going to have soup and we're going to have grilled cheese. Went to Aldi's and I got their sourdough because it makes the best grilled cheese. Um, so while that's heating up, I have a pot here that is filled with uh, baby carrots that I cut in half because it makes it easier on the spoon and then chopped up half an onion. Um, typically I would do a whole onion, but um, I, my mom brought me back some Vidalia onions from Georgia and Sunday we're gonna do just a, a lazy movie relaxing pig out day and I didn't wanna waste an entire Vidalia onion um, in a soup when I can batter it and fry it up for our junk food movie fun day. So, um, I'm just adding stock to this again from Aldi's and I find that their chicken stock is much better than their um, chicken broth. It tastes really good. So I got four pints of it. Sorry, let's turn my chicken around. I'm cooking my chicken in some chicken broth as well. So I didn't want to add any extra oil to it. All right, and into my pressure cooker, I'm going to add some garlic because I put garlic in everything. Um, so that was, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon. And then I have a full teaspoon of ground pepper, fresh ground pepper, and about a tablespoon of parsley flakes. So I'm going to leave that off the heat. I will move that to this burner when I am done cooking the chicken and I put the chicken in. Now, I cook my noodles separate. Um, some people just throw their egg noodles right in there with the rest of it, but I find that it soaks up all of the chicken broth and I don't, I don't want to do that. I like soup in my soup, you know, I want broth when I'm done with it. I want something to dip my grilled cheese in. So, um, I cook my noodles in a separate bowl and, or a separate bowl. I cook my noodle, noodles in a separate pot and I just use egg noodles. And then for our grilled cheese, oh, I just sloshed, um, I got some... Colby Jack and Havarti, both from Aldi's. They were like $1.79 for each thing of cheese. Sliced Havarti and Colby Jack. So it's better than just, you know, a regular grilled cheese with American. Sometimes I go fancy, and if I'm going to get the sourdough, I'm going to do fancy cheese. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this all together. And um, when this is done cooking through, I see you can see I cut up the chicken. This is uh, one pound of chicken breasts and I cut it up into really bite-sized pieces because you want something that's easy to get on your spoon. You know, you don't want to be fighting with gigantic pieces of chicken. Um, so I, I cut them up pretty small. And then of course when they're in the pressure cooker they might break down a little bit more, which is fine too because it's already bite-sized so if it shreds it's not going to be a ridiculous thing to try to get on chicken. Okay, so that all looks really good. So I am now going to switch these bad boys. Ooh, oh, mother. That is hot. Alright. Get the cheese away from the heat, huh? Alright. So everything's in. Let's give it a stir. And 
I'm going to reduce the heat on this. Sorry, it was smoking. All right, I'm going to put my lid on and reduce the heat. And once this starts uh, doing its little shimmy shake, then I'm going to let it go for about 10 minutes longer. And then I know that my carrots will be done. So when I'm doing grilled cheese for all of us, they need to be done at the same time. I actually use the broiler in my oven. So right now I have a butter side down. I'm going to start putting the different cheeses on. So this is the Havarti. for dinner. All right, we're going to eat some grub. We'll see you guys in a bit. Mm. How is it? Good. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not put extra salt in the broth, so if you need salt, just let me know, okay? Good stuff? Mm -hmm. He can't sit on the floor. <laughs> no. He's too prissy to sit on the floor. No. He's got to sit. Hi, Angel. Mommy, I want your toes. Don't lick my toes, monster. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not a foot kind of person. So we have been working on this puzzle for like three days now. There's a lot of red. I'm beginning to hate this puzzle. And what happened to that one piece? Sawyer ate this piece. Sawyer full on ate a freaking puzzle piece. <laughs> so, yeah, and we... We went to the library today and we got a whole bunch of books, a whole mess of books. Um, but yes, this is what our puzzle should look like if we ever get done with it. Yeah. Sorry today was kind of boring, but you know, it's, it's raining and it's miserable outside and um, oh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, like I suspected it would, my face is just peeling off. It's just flaking off and it's dry and it's awful everywhere from that stupid soap. If you missed that, it was on yesterday's vlog. I'll link it below. But um, what do you guys do on rainy days? What do you do? Maybe we can find something new to do around here because we bowl, of course, every single day and I didn't film that today because I can only film bowling so many times. Um, so, you know, we went to the library and we went bowling and, and we made dinner and we're doing puzzles and we're reading and we're watching lots and lots of movies. So what do you do on rainy days? Let us know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will see you back soon.